Hey there, it's Ruth Sherman, CEO and celebrity speech and media coach, but you don't have to be famous to work with me. I am wearing a lot of makeup today, a lot more than I would wear under normal circumstances, even to shoot a video. So the reason I'm wearing a lot of makeup is because I had to go in and shoot a segment for a new show in a professional broadcast studio. And like I say about those lights, they are x-ray lights. They see right through everything unless you do it the right way. So let me tell you about what I did and what you should do if you're a woman and you are going into a professional uh, broadcast setting where they're going to have professional high-definition cameras and everybody who knows me knows how I feel about those and um, the lighting. The first thing that I did was I darkened my eyebrows. I think in real life it makes me look angry. My kids often say that, but in fact, it's an exaggeration because my eyebrows are lighter colored, so the camera doesn't pick them up in these professional settings. So that's the first thing. I, um, I darkened my eyebrows. Then I put on eyeshadow. I'm just gonna close my eyes so you can see them. I never wear eyeshadow. And the way I put it on, I used a neutral color. I used a brownish and tan eyeshadow. Is I particularly accented it in the outer areas, the outer corners of my eyes. That's the way uh, that you should do it when you go into a professional setting. So I never wear eyeshadow. I put it on my upper lids and I put it in the outer corners of my lower lids as well, right under the eyelashes. Now, I usually wear eyeliner, but usually a very thin line, and I thickened the line right above my upper lashes. There's a thicker line of eyeliner. I don't know if you can see that, but I thought I'd close my eyes to show you. And then I also used eyeliner inside the lid. So I used an eye pencil where I lined the inside of my lids. My eyes are small, and so to make them pop in a professional setting, I need to accent them a little more. Now the big news is what I put on my face. There are three, maybe even four layers of makeup on my face. Ugh, I know, right? Try walking out on a hot, humid day in the summer with that on your face. So what I started with was a tinted moisturizer, so it has a little bit of a tint, but it moisturizes the skin. Then on top of that, I put a thicker foundation that I applied with a makeup sponge. I, I dabbed it on and then I blended it in a lighter color, a little bit uh, darker than my actual skin tone. So you want to go a, a t about a tone darker again because those lights are so bright. After that, I used some pressed powder, so I dabbed that on to even everything out and to take away the shine. Speaking of powder, men, you should use powder too. Not necessarily uh, pressed powder, but uh, a loose powder to dust away the shine. Um, and then finally, I put on a blush, so to, to give some contours on my cheeks, and I really added much more than I would normally add. My cheeks tend to be rosy, I have a ruddy complexion. I don't even wear this much makeup, uh, you know, the, no foundation usually, just maybe some concealer. Then I, I did also use some concealer under my eyes and on the corners of my eyes and on the outside of my eyes to, um, uh, again, take away the shadows, the circles and so forth, the things that we all have to deal with so to make the complexion seem nice and smooth. Finally, I put on lipstick. Now I wear lipstick all the time, so I can't even take the garbage out without lipstick. But I wanted to tell you and show you what I did uh, when it came to going into a professional studio setting. Another thing that I did was I used hairspray. I don't like hairspray. I don't like the way it makes my hair feel, but I needed to have hairspray so that my bangs and my hair would not fall in front of my eyes. My bangs are long and they definitely get in my eyes and that's no good. You don't wanna be sitting there constantly doing this. In fact, on a lot of my videos, you'll see me doing that because I don't have hairspray on. Finally, my dress, I decided, I, I worked hard at deciding what to wear and what accessories to put on. You have to be mindful of that. Now in regular video, I think that I look too dressed up for this kind of video that I'm doing right now, but in that professional setting, it really went perfect. It looked just right. So uh, a colorful necklace, colorful earrings, bigger earrings than I would usually wear, and then a contrasting jacket and shirt. The shirt is yellow, the jacket is a coral color, it's a red. These things really pop against the background. Okay, if you want any more information on makeup or charisma or how to look and sound on camera, hop on over to ruthsherman.com where you can download your free Celebrity Video Charisma Secrets. And I'll see you over there. Have a great day, bye.